Hello everyone, this is Ebi and welcome back to Ebi Turquesa Dot. Today I'd like to share with you a little card that I created and I am actually slowly organizing my studio so I ran into a few packages of these flowers that Marla had sent to me a while back and I wanted to figure out a way to use them so I ended up creating a little painting of a girl with my acrylics and that was done on a separate little card and then I decided to make a card with her so I've applied the little acrylic flowers for my goes up here I've used this is I think it's Daikatsu with a view it's a it's a piece of paper that I used a little bit on the inside and then a little bit on the outside and that's my little card with my painting included so and that way I'll send someone a little painting made by me. I've used some of the things that I have in my stash that I wanted to get used and I used some paper from my stash too. So I'm using up my things and trying to find fun ways to use them in. So I thought I'd share that with you. The other thing that I did work on this past week were these little tiles. And you know how I love working on my tiles. And these are actually wood pieces <clears throat> they will go like this. It's this one at the top and then this one would be the center one and then this one would be the bottom one. And I am still searching for the right canvas. Oi! Sorry, I just dropped my dirty <clears throat> glue gun there. But these I actually want to end up putting on a canvas. I still have to find the right canvas for it. So it'll be on a gallery mounted mount canvas and then these will be the focal point of that piece but for this I've actually used some metal pieces that I had also saved up in my stash and I don't even remember the collection that these come from but I've used seed beads to decorate the edge and let's see if this focuses some resin flowers and then some micro beads on the whole border side of it so that's what they look like when they're all together, the three metal pieces with the similar elements to make up the tiles and all of the seed beads and the micro beads on the side. I just love working with seed beads and micro beads and playing with my little tiles and then making compositions that I can later on add to a canvas and end up with an art piece that combines them. So those are the few creations that I've been working on this past week and then yesterday I had started on these ATC these are just leftovers from the modeling paste that I use for the edge of these tiles and then I added some silks to that background painted a little plastic ballerina that someone had shared with me a while back and I had also found as I was organizing my studio and this is it still needs some work it has micro beads going up and some seed beads in black over there and it's not focusing I'm so sorry for the lack of sharpness on this camera it just tends to focus whenever it wants to but that's how this is going I still need to work on this I still need to add more things especially on this area here that turned out very opaque but it has a lot of interesting texture on it so I want to build my textures on top of that and we'll see where that ends when I'm finished with it but those are the few things that I've been working on this past week's, <coughs> excuse me. And I thought I'd stop by and share something else with you. So, and this is a little, actually a little placement that I found at my dollar store the other day. So I could put it on top of my craft mat and make the table look a little bit nicer for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you liked what I had to share today. Hugs and kisses to everyone. Wishing you all a wonderful week and take care everyone. Besitos. Bye bye.